Oh. Because it was only meant as a distraction, so whether you win or lose, this happens regardless. And there it goes. It's done. What's done? I don't know. You've got to be kidding. That's impossible. What? Oh my god! <laughs> it exploded! You weren't able to transmute a single thing. Nope. Is this... The end? Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. Yeah. Ed. Oh. How could I be so helpless? Ed. Why couldn't I do anything? Ed. Why am I so powerless? Ed, look. What? Something survived. What is that? Oh. Wingy. A feather? Our knees? <laughs> Go get it. So it is. You gonna touch it? Touch it. There you go. Oh! What are we doing? Does it hurt? Oh. Hi, Danny. Oh. You must hate me by now, but. That's silly. How could I hate you? You don't have to talk anymore. My dear, you may not have realized this, but I have always loved you. Oh. I cared for you more than anyone else ever could. But no matter what I tried, I, I just couldn't understand what would make you the happiest. Oh. What I could do to make my daughter happy. Daddy, you're so silly. Hmm? <laughs> Harmony. I knew. Knew. Hmm? Because I mean, I'm your daughter, and daughters always know. Oh? Daddy, I. Uh, yes, dear. I am. I am your daughter, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Silly girl, of course you are. <sighs> okay. I guess we're both silly then. Like a father. Daughter. Oh! Oh no! Don't be afraid. I won't let you go alone. Oh. This will be ours, only ours. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Now I'm gonna explode. I'm sorry. Oh. It's tearing the fabric. And the fabric's been torn. Now they're dead. You dummy. You big dummy. Does that make you happy? Well, then she's dead. I was joking earlier, but I didn't... Did you see? Were they smiling, Edward? Mm-hmm. They were. Pastor. Edward, in the end, were the two of them smiling? Yeah, they were smiling. Both the professor and Armony were smiling as they died. Then there is no reason to be sad. The two of them must have been happy together as they passed on. Wilhelm may have made many mistakes in the past, but in the end, he made the best choice. A choice that would be the most painful. The best choice? That's hardly the case. She didn't have to die! There had to be another way. Armony deserved a choice! But I couldn't save her! Ed. Edward, I would like to ask you a favor. Could you teach me the same alchemy that you taught Armony? What? 
I don't intend to do anything on her behalf. I just want to learn something simple. Something I can show Armony someday. Gramps, I... Perhaps the both of us can make her dream come true, Edward. Harmony. Harmony! Hm. I was really gonna chastise Full Metal Crybaby, but I guess I'll have to let it slide. Bro! Friend of his just died! Chill. Oh, but what a tragedy this was. I could certainly feel the pain in those boys' hearts. If I might interject, Colonel, but we've received that Brigadier Nemda has finally been arrested. Oh, good. Excellent work. <laughs> what are you doing? Look on me! Look on me! I'm innocent! I've done nothing wrong! You fools are making a mistake! <laughs> hey, you know who you think I am? I'll have you hung! Both of you! Somebody arrest these two men! <laughs> Bruh, look on me now, you fools! Why is anyone listening to me? <laughs> Damn it! I need help! Someone help me! Help me! No. So we get to interrogate that chimp when we get back. Oh joy. East headquarters is gonna get awfully busy again. All thanks to Edward. Edward Elwork seems to attract trouble no matter where he goes. Well, they helped us solve the case of the high scarred chimeras and expose a corrupt MP chief. It's a sad ending for the boys, but all the credit goes to them. Not on record though, as usual. Understood, sir. I think it's time for us to get going, too, Colonel. Oh, that is sad. Oh, we get to go to the train finally. Well, we're off, Colonel. And I'm sorry for all the trouble we made. Never mind, you'll be in Central's jurisdiction here on, and go on and make all the trouble you want. What? Th that's not very nice, Colonel. <laughs> Keep it on them till you reach Central, Major Armstrong. Well, oh, almost forgot. There was something I was supposed to give you. A love letter for you, Full Metal. <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? It's from Armony. She told me to give it to you just before she entered the Alchemy Works. What? From Armony?! Read it on the train. It's yours to keep. Well, looks like it's almost time. Take care, Full Metal. Oh boy, here we go. And now we're back where we started. Glitched rail tracks and all. Here, I'll read you the letter. Okay. Oh boy. Dear Ed, oh. I'm writing this letter in preparation for our inevitable farewell. Even voiced. Well, I guess there's no reason to be so formal. But I know that when the time comes, I won't be able to tell you face to face. Because you're dead. I mean, it might just degrade into another one of our shouting matches. Fair. And so I'll write. This way, I won't have any regrets. Uh-huh. You know, Ed, you told me that no one can gain anything without making some kind of sacrifice. That the law of equivalent exchange in alchemy also applies to the order of the world. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's necessarily true. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can sacrifice all we want and never gain, mm -hmm. while other things require no sacrifice at all. Mm -hmm. I can just picture you bellowing. You just don't get it. But, Ed, I haven't sacrificed anything. I haven't been able to do a single thing for anyone else. You died! Not just for you and Al, but for the pastor, or even for Daddy. And yet, in exchange, I've received something so big, I can't even begin to imagine what the equivalent price would be. Your life! <laughs> Equivalent exchange may apply to the order of the world, but not to people. The human existence lies on a higher plane. One that's not bound by those silly rules. Mm -hmm. I at least that's what I think. Well, you're dead, so... <clears throat> Sorry. I didn't mean to go off on a tangent like that. 
I really just wanted to thank you. Mm. So I'll write it right here. Thanks. And that's from the bottom of my heart. Aww. Whenever I think of you and Al, I'm so grateful. Not that I'd be able to tell you face to face, of course. But I couldn't possibly get away without letting you know. Even if there was nothing I could do or nothing I could give. So, yeah, I think this letter was a good idea. I hope you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe... No, I won't go there. It's getting noisy outside, so I'll stop here. Farewell, and take care. And thank you for everything. Aww. Best wishes to my small but mighty master. You doing good, Ed? Brent. Oh, oh, Armstrong. Oh, Armstrong, I see you over there. Best wishes to my small but mighty master. Small but mighty. Cheese harmony. <laughs> I'm so touched. Oh goodness, I I can't stop crying. <laughs> Gross. Who's she calling small? She was snotty till the end, brat. Meh. Hey Ed, there's something else inside the envelope. What is it? Look. A seed? It's a flower seed. Of the ether flower, maybe. It might just be a normal flower. You know how Army liked that kind of stuff. I wish we could have helped her flowers bloom, even if it just was one time. She couldn't make a flower bloom with alchemy, so she left a seed as a gift, huh? <sighs> if it was meant as a gift, you could have probably done better than a stupid seed, Armony. God. I'm gonna eat it. Hmm? Oh. Let me help you make your wish come true. <gasps> oh? Yes, of course. The boys are here too. Oh? What are we doing? Flower. Mm. Oh, I get it now. Armini's alchemy never failed. It was just dormant. Oh. Mm, she may have become a great alchemist indeed. Yeah. But if if you die, then that's the end. Don't you fucking Edward! Could you? <gasps> oh my goodness! You may die, but you leave a legacy behind. Your life isn't just for not for nothing. Are you watching? Oh boy. All her attempts have culminated to this moment. <laughs> Fuck, I'm crying. Um, it's okay to cry, Colonel. Thanks! Don't be ridiculous. Let's go! Yeah, me too, man. Me too. That's a really sweet message, actually. What the fuck? This game made me cry? Fuck you! Fuck you! We did it! At long last, after 20 years, I have beat it! And I'm crying, I'm gonna piss! Yeah. Snuff. Anyway, yum. 
uh, this game, uh, Full Metal Elemental Alchemist and the Broken Game. So, it does get better from here on out. They got better from the, this point, I can tell you that for free. And, again, I never got to see this to the end, and that's just a sweet ending of, like, yeah, you're dead, but you left such a legacy behind in the people you knew and just what you tried to do, because it may not happen while you're alive, but it could happen after. Yeah, I'm crying. Oh, I gotta pull myself together! Ah! Uh, this game gave me so much grief! It was so much bullshit! Swarms of bosses and shit, but it was their first attempt, and they got better over time. Though the fucking fact of the matter is, is that fucking they only produced two of the fucking series of the Full Metal that plays like this in America, and there's like five in total, and only we only got two! We, the rest were just not. The rest is, uh, Japanese only. There is the, um, the girl who succeeded God, the Prince of Dusk, and the Daughter of Dawn. Uh, the Daughter of Dawn and Prince of Dusk were primarily only Wii releases, but again, only got, um, emotionally. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Blech. Um... That's how I'm mostly feeling. Um, so, yeah. So, after Curse of the Crimson Elixir, that's gonna be all I'm doing. But I remember I enjoyed that game a lot more. Because they probably fixed up a lot of the stuff that was wrong with this one. So... I I'm just gonna wait until the credits end. Just so, uh... Yeah. Okay, I think we're getting to the end now. I'm, I'm, I'm a little sniffly still, but I'm, I'm, I'm composing myself as best I can. Sniff. Um. Oh. I have been conducting an inside probe into the recent string of incidents which started with the devastation of the old town of Heesbar. Oh! It's Reese's is a uh... role of secretary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wilhelm Azelson, Reese's reports was considered a key participant in these events. Ooh. The following is my report. Oh boy. A key factor in this mm. incident was a material known as the Philosopher's Catalyst. Mm. Professor Azelstein, a leading authority on catalytics had been conducting research on this fabled substance. If completed, this material would supposedly have had alchemy amplifying characteristics, similar to the mythical Philosopher's Stone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We found out that Professor Azelstein and his assistant Greta Riddell had been calling on hordes of alchemists to come to the town of Heesgard. We suspect that their plan was to use these alchemists in the completion of the Philosopher's Catalyst. And you'd be right. We also discovered that the chimeras infesting Heesgard were originally created in New Heesgard Castle's underground laboratory. This also seemed to tie into Azelstein's plan. Mm. As director of the region, Brigadier Moody Nemda was well aware of the activities perpetrated by the Professor and Riddell. Nemda opted not to enforce the law and neglected his reporting duties to Central. Mm. In fact, Nemda had struck a deal for the secret development of combat chimeras in exchange for acquiescence of the Professor and Riddell's illegal activities. Mm. However, the central figure in the chimera development was not the Professor himself, but Riddell. Riddell was the one who initially contacted the professor regarding the creation of combat chimeras. Mm -hmm. She was also responsible for arranging the relationship between the professor and Nemda. Because she was a bitch. We highly suspect that Riddell took the leading role in Heesgart's destruction and unleashed the chimeras in the old city. Mm. The mayhem, a direct result of Riddell's desire to obtain the philosopher's catalyst, came to an end when Professor Azelstein sacrificed his life to keep the catalyst from going out of control leading to the disappearance of the new Heesgard alchemy works. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we have every reason to believe that Greta Riddell was the real mastermind behind this incident, and that both Professor Azelstein and Brigadier Nemda were merely pawns. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Disciplinary actions against the persons involved are as follows. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you! Colonel Gens Breslau, currently undergoing rehabilitation in the military hospital. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although Breslau's involvement in the incident remains a question mark, there is no doubt of a link to both Riddell and Nemda. Yeah. He will most likely be questioned before being sent to trial in front of the military court. And 
Incidentally, the ex-military policeman who conducted the recent train hijack has regained consciousness oh, good. and testified that Gens Breslau's job was to bring alchemists to Heathgart. Oh. We are currently investigating the authenticity of his testimony. So it was him. Okay. Brigadier Moody Nemda, now serving time in military prison. Good! Fuck him! Considering his position as a high-ranking military officer, Nemda's blatant misuse of military arms and troops is a serious crime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In addition, evidence indicates that he was plotting an insurgence against Central. <gasps> Bitch! Nemda has already been sentenced to 145 years in prison, Yay! but if further accusations are pursued, an additional 200 years may be added to his sentence. Oh shit! Fuck you, dude! Yeah, what about you? Greta Riddell. Missing. Yeah. Although regarded as the mastermind behind the incident, Riddell's identity and background remain a complete mystery. Mm -hmm. However, investigation regarding her alias of Camilla has turned up some interesting facts in Central's archives. Yeah? Like what? This is not the first incident where certain activities were perpetrated by an individual named Camilla. Ooh. In past reports, there are multiple instances of this individual, sometimes as a suspect, other times as a collaborator to the military. Uh-huh. However, the oldest of these reports dates back to over 60 years ago. Hmm. Although the records have many similarities, it would be unrealistic to regard these instances as pertaining to the same individual. But she said she was searching for them for like Riddell over 100 years. Based on witness accounts, the possibility of her survival is extremely low. But to date, a body has yet to be found. She did say she was looking for a hundred years for it. Professor Wilhelm Azelstein. Missing. He's dead! Azelstein vanished along with the alchemy works. His survival is highly improbable. The fact that he was partaking in illegal activities amidst this chain of events is true. Mm -hmm. However, he also sacrificed himself to save countless lives from the out-of-control catalyst. It is unclear what he was after. Or what he was trying to protect by obtaining the Philosopher's Catalyst. His daughter! Whatever it was, we can say that Wilhelm was a man of contradictions. Mm-hmm. Reported by Lieutenant Hawkeye. Yay! Postscript. Due to the derailment of his train, a state alchemist was present in Heathgart during the incident. No evidence of his direct involvement has been found. Oh, shit! Let's go. Get a move on, Al. Get on the train. Yes. We'll get off the train. Slow down. There's no need to hurry. Indeed. The library isn't going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you're a bunch of slow folks. <laughs> He's acting like a child. He is a child. Oh, I beg your pardon. He is a child. Yeah. It's okay. He's also been through a Ed, lot. Look out. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, bitch! Ed, can you go anywhere without plowing into people? No. Are you okay? You good? Um, yes, I. Oh. Oh, shit! Well, look what you've done. So sorry. That's okay. I'm all right. Yeah. Here you go. I'm really sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh! Hello! Oh, thank you. She lived. She became normal! She's so cute, actually! Um, are you going to be okay? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Me? Never been better! <laughs> Let's go, boy! Let's get going, Al! Yeah! She lived, bitch! Just in a new life and a new place. No memories. Probably for the best. Is something the matter, Ed? No, nothing. Yeah. Central, here we come! Yay! The anime may now continue now that his guilt is behind him. I think. Fing. Ha ha. Quill with a feather! Yeah, please! Ugh! You wouldn't believe! How long did that take? An hour. 
Sure did. And that's it. That's fucking Full Metal Alchemist the Broken Angel. Cool! I had never seen the ending before, because fucking Poison Swamp Camilla kicked my ass every time. Every fucking time. Ooh, let's look at the gallery. Smash. Graphic. Hey, what is this shit? Hey, what the fuck? I cleared it! Yeah, game cleared. Give me this- give me the- No! That's not what I meant. Whatever. Whatever. So that'll be it for me. Um, Curse of the Crimson Elixir will come after this. And I hope you guys liked the journey into FMA a long way since past. It would be nice to, like, relook at the 2009, um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. To see, you know, where that came from. Well, where that went, because it ties very tight to the manga, so it's, like, where the manga went and stuff like that. But that will be it for me, and have a good day, everybody. Bye! Bye, everybody! And say bye, too. Huh, what? Oh, sorry, I was, I was sniffing these flowers. <sighs> well, all right, you do that, Ed. Well, I'll say bye for you. Uh, Ed says bye! Oh, bye, everyone. Hope to see you in the next chapter. Wink. W wink? Wink? I would wink, but I have no eyeballs, Ed. That's fair. I'll wink for you. Wink. Bye.